Hello, Bishop Walsh here. It's Wednesday, December 20th, and today's the day our staff from the Pastoral Center is having our party, and we're going to go over this year to the bowling lanes here in Gaylord. I'm usually happy if I get anything over 100, uh, but at this stage of my life, I'm also happy if I don't throw a hip out or end up in the hospital. Uh, it should be a fun time to be with staff. We've been doing a couple of fun activities all during this week leading up to Christmas. And we're going to be having a video that we'll release later on, uh, probably on Friday, uh, so that we just, from our family to yours, extend our greetings and our wishes that all have a, a wonderful Christmas celebration and a New Year celebration. Uh, I, I won't be doing one of these videos next Wednesday. I'll take a little break, and so it won't be two weeks until the next checking in video. But I'm so grateful for everyone who does take the time to check in. I go around the diocese and I hear various compliments about this as a way to be transparent about the schedule and keep informed about what's going on. So uh, we'll continue that into the new year, 2024. Again, I'm just grateful for our staff and all of the collaboration and the support from so many people doing the work of the church. It is very edifying. It's challenging, but it's very edifying to know that we can participate in the life uh, of what God communicates and the grace of his sacraments, the grace of his uh, activity in the life of the church that builds up his kingdom and helps us all to understand our, our role in uh, salvation history and what we're called to in that life of holiness. So uh, these Christmas celebrations, there's going to be a lot of fast and furious kind of activity in our parishes because the fourth Sunday of Advent falls on a Sunday and then Christmas falls on a Monday. So lots of masses and lots of graces. Uh, we hope for all of our people. I will be celebrating the 5 p.m. Mass at the cathedral for the Easter vigil or <laughs> Easter Christmas vigil. So that's a Sunday. And then on Monday morning at 9 a.m., I'll celebrate the Christmas Day Mass at the cathedral. And from there, I'll be hitting the road to Pittsburgh first. You know, it's an interesting reflection how last year, after I celebrate that Mass, I hit the road where, with two feet of snow on the road. It doesn't look like we're going to get a white Christmas this year. We've had snow, but it's melted, and it doesn't look like we're going to get any between now and then. So I'll hit the road, hopefully for some smooth sailing to Pittsburgh, to visit my grandnephew. He's doing well. I thank you for your prayers for him. He's uh, hopefully going to be released from the hospital shortly after Christmas and go back to his home in Philadelphia. So we're going to stop in Pittsburgh first, and then my mom and dad and I will travel back to Scranton, and I'll have a nice down week there. Uh, looking forward to spending time with family and friends. Also have a funeral mass I'll be presiding at next Wednesday, Mr. Jerry Sherman. He's a longtime family friend of ours, and please keep him and his family in your prayers that uh, Mass will be at Holy Rosary Church in North Scranton next Wednesday. Uh, so some reflection just here briefly on Christmas. I have the image of It's a Wonderful Life. I love that Christmas movie. We're going to watch it as a staff uh, this week as well. It's just a timely reminder of the goodness uh, of our lives, the way God created them, not in some, you know, mythical way or ideological way or even Hollywood type of a way. Uh, it, life unfolds in very uh, odd ways sometimes, things that we don't expect or would have never predicted. That's the story of It's a Wonderful Life. How George Bailey had all these dreams and visions of what his life was going to be like and it didn't turn out that way. But at the end, he came to realize he's the richest man in town because of all the blessings he had a chance to reflect on if he had never been born and just shows how the sequence of his life, so many things took place and uh, he was able to build a family and build the community in a way that uh, he didn't have in mind, but God used him to do. And I think that's often how our lives are. We, we think a certain way they should turn out, but they don't. So we learn to appreciate the gift of what it is in and of itself. It certainly is a wonderful life. So I'm going to let Linus, the sage wisdom of Linus, about the true meaning of Christmas and uh, this segment. And then if you have a moment, there's also going to be a, an add-on clip of uh, the students from 
Bishop Berg is school in, in Sheboygan with a little Christmas skit, but the last word goes to Linus. I can, I can tell you what Christmas is all about, Charlie Brown. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, and lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. That's what Christmas is all about, Charlie Brown. And it is a wonderful life. Merry Christmas. Three, two, one. Christmas Eve, I'm about to leave. There's a band in the barn tonight. Got a smile from the Texas sun. The party will be out of sight. King on shirt and a cowboy hat and there's plenty of country food. Blue, blue jeans and some spurs are clean. Let's be in a party mood. Jingle bell. the boots and boogie or whatever. Sam, what do you think? Yay! Third grade class of Bishop Berrigan Sheboygan. Way to go. Woo! Good job, you guys. Good job.